To create your own thread brand in the in Brilliance program, you need to have two things. First of all, this can be done in either enthusiast or stitch artist. So I have my Brilliance program open, and I also have open a scanned version of my thread chart. So what you can do this from, it's easiest from a PDF file, but if you have a photograph with great coloring, with the actual color threads, that's perfect as well. So I have this open, but I need to be able to see my color chip as well as the name and number if I want to add that into my um, software, I'll be able to see that. So I want to make it at least big enough so that I could read those things. And I make it small enough, so I'll need to scroll through so that I can see both it and my chart or, and my program at the same time. So I'll need to, let's see if I can scoot it over just a bit so I can see both. We'll just work on this one column here. Okay, so whoops, let's, I need to make sure I'm at the top of it so I don't miss any colors. And just move it over to the side so you can see both at the same time. From the utility menu, I am going to go to Where's the threads button? Here we go, right there. And this opens up the thread and palette editor. Now you'll have, it opens up into your normally the last um, thing that you had opened into, but what we want to do is create a new brand. So I'm gonna click on this little uh, thread palette button so it says new, and it's gonna call it my palette, but this was actually, and this is already in the program, so I'm just gonna do iris test so that I don't overwrite anything that's bad. Now, where it says display, I want to make sure that palette is unchecked because it's not a palette, it is an actual thread brand that I am creating. So the first thing or the rhythm that I go into is I click on add color. This adds another one color chip down here at the bottom. I click on my color picker, move it over to the color chip that I can see here, click on it one time and you will see the color populate. This is where I type in the name for this color, which is Golden Basket. The thread number is, what number is that? 1300, I guess. I don't know. They, you have to figure out what the color number is. This one says, says 1300. So that's what I'm going to use, 1300. And if that color, if I'm holding this, if I'm looking at the actual thread spool and this doesn't look exactly as I want, I can use the color, um, the slider to adjust it to uh, match either the, the different values based upon what I am actually looking at. So this looks pretty good to me, so I'm going on to the next one. Add color. Click on the color chip, or color picker. Click on the thing there. Type in my name, which is copper. Click on the number, which is 1130. Click add color, click on color picker, click on thing, and continue going. So this is, and once I get a few, let me just finish this last one so that I get to this point, one, three, two, four. Um, I will click on save every so often because these are the numbers that are going to show up. Once I get through, I mean, say I got to the bottom here, I need to adjust my screen. So I need to scroll down and scroll through here. And I would keep doing that, moving through until I got through all of my colors. Once you have that done, I only have four, but that once I have that done, now I can actually go to, if I click on the big letter A, click on the color, click on the color chip, I can go to where it says threads, pull down menu, and this should say iris test. Where'd it go? Irish test. There is my color brand that I have listed that I've created. So there you go.